Well, this will not feel like a fall weekend. Kevin. No, it won't. Temps back into summer mode here. And of course, uh, the remnants of what was Hurricane Helene now still affecting uh, the Carolinas significantly here with flash flood emergencies west of Charlotte here, the higher elevations, northern Georgia, all the way toward Virginia. We can see the remnants of this system here, which is now back toward uh, the Tennessee River Valley here, Tennessee into Missouri, northern Arkansas. Meanwhile, for us, we are bone dry, and because of that, the air is heating up more rapidly, and that simply means a warm weekend, to both tomorrow and certainly on Sunday. And right now, again, we are 100% cloud-free across the entire region. All of North Dakota, like earlier this week, not a single cloud in the sky. We had a smoke plume earlier in southern Hedinger County. Um, I believe that has since been extinguished. At least there's no more plume here, but we do have a 90 degree temperature still in Dickinson, 85 in Bismarck, low to mid 80s. Another warm Friday evening, but comfortable as well, simply because the humidity is very, very low. And we got south southwest winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour. So a beautiful evening all throughout the area here tomorrow. It'll be a little cooler, but still wide spread low to mid 80s on the way. A pleasant start to our Saturday morning here with fairly light wind. It won't be as breezy as what we have right now over western North Dakota, northeastern Montana for tomorrow all day with high pressure staying north of us, giving us more of an easterly wind for tomorrow afternoon, but only around 5 to 15 miles per hour. So that'll make it nice. And again, low humidity and temperatures topping out in the 80s. High continues to go farther away. Warm front advances through for Sunday and stronger winds, unfortunately, uh, resulting in more critical fire weather concerns, I believe, for Sunday into Monday here. But again, this is early Sunday morning, only to be getting hotter, preceding a cold front. And that means a large swath of not only 80s, but widespread 90s, Montana, the western half of both North and South. South Dakota. And again, we're going to have that south wind at times, maybe upwards of 35 miles per hour, and then stronger northwest winds late Sunday night into Monday. So shifting winds, that's not good re with respect to fire weather concerns here, but that means highs will be dropped into the 60s. That's your weekend outlook. It remains bone dry, but increasing fire danger. That's what's something we've really got to stay weather aware on here because the wind will be strong Sunday and with that temperature drop on Monday. All right. Whew. I know. We've got to be careful out there. Just no controlled burns. Just refrain from any burning at all. Yeah, 30 degree drop will feel chilly. It will indeed. It's going to be a lot different on Monday. Thanks. Yeah.